Today, I will show you how to install Luke's FSR3 mod into Shadow of the Tomb Raider. First, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Video making is time consuming work, so if you find anything valuable in this video, please do that. It's only two clicks and your support is greatly appreciated. Now go down and open the link in the description. Download this file. I have already downloaded it. If you watched my previous videos, you already know how to download Luke's mod. I don't think Luke's mod officially supports Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but I found a way. I'm going to install the mod into the cracked version of the game, so I don't know if this works for the Epic Games version. For cracked users, make sure to run the game as an administrator. Then open the previously downloaded file. Extract all the files into the directory except for this file. Run the enable signature override registry file. Open the game once so we can confirm that the game works after the modding. As you can see, I can now enable DLSS. Also, make sure to enable DirectX 12. If the game launches without errors or crashes, we can move on to the last step. Now open Luke's mod folder and copy these files. Run the game. If the command prompt appears, that means the mod is installed. Dream again. About your parents? Yeah. The game may have character ghosting and UI flickering issues, but it runs smoothly. I will make a comparison between frame generation on and off at the end of the video. So, if you plan to install the mod into the Epic Games version, do this first. Follow this path and rename these files as shown, otherwise your game will crash. Make sure to like and subscribe, thank you for watching.